I have received while busking. Quarters, nickels, loonies, paper money, business cards, flowers. That a little, little girl picked from a business's flower display. We played a song together. I formed the chords and she strummed, singing Taylor Swift as loud as those tiny lungs can handle. Cigarettes, candy, healing crystals, one for romance and one for stage performance. A portrait done with the sharpie smiles. Smiles from old people who sway and sing along when I play Delta Dawn. Smiles from little kids who pull crazy breakdance moves on the sidewalk. Or who hang out car windows waving at, frantically at red lights. Water, poetry, directions to a Sikh temple, requests for Wonderwall. So many requests for Wonderwall. Please don't be that guy who requests Wonderwall. Joints, a piece of a cookie, thank yous. When I told a coworker I was moving here, she said, well, you know, how are you gonna support yourself? And I said, well, I, I've got some rent saved up and I'll bust for grocery money until I find a real job. And she said, busking, isn't that basically the same thing as prostitution? I mean, you're standing on the corner working for tips. First of all, you say that like sex work is always a bad thing. And second of all, no, guitars make sex difficult. A leather jacket. <laughs> A palm reading, a pack of gum invitations, invitations to open mics, invitations to shows and CD bars, invitations for adoption, invitations for coffee, for beer, and to drive to Seattle. When you're busking, you are an open invitation. There is no fortress of counter and cash register to hide behind. Your smile is not a dress code, and your greeting is not company policy. Your eyes are open signs. Every instance of eye contact is a transaction. Busking seems to have a currency of connection, something people seem to be just as desperate for as money. My parents always told me things like, don't talk to strangers, and don't take candy from strangers, and don't get in strange vehicles with strangers. And I feel like maybe don't get drunk with strangers, and don't take drugs from strangers. Probably would have been on that list had they not thought they were painfully obvious, but I think that maybe we need to redefine stranger, because I don't know about you, but these people I meet with and talk to on the streets, I would sooner call friends. And the strangers? Those are the coworkers who can't remember your name and the teachers who never gave a fuck. Strangers are ca customers who don't acknowledge cashiers. There are people who hit on you at bus stops without bothering to get to know you. Strangers are the people who don't bother to get to know you. So next time you're walking down the street and come across a busker who tried to pause, I think connection has a vulnerability that's just as hard to receive as it is to give, but maybe we all just want to feel the warmth of other people, feel a simple sort of substance, a small exchange of empathy, and when I or anyone else is out there with our guitars, this is what we're offering. Our music is a vehicle to maybe make you feel something, smile a little, and maybe give a little in return, even if it's just a thank you. No, especially if it's just a thank you. A nod, a nickel, a dollar, paper money, palm reading, cigarette, water, directions, invitations, poetry. Woo! <laughs>